This construction project located in the center of Keshechuan is keeping Lynn Williams busy these days. It's her first construction job since graduating from a construction program a year ago. I wasn't sure if I was made for it, but I really enjoy it. Williams is one of 70 Keshechuan members who've been hammering, measuring, and sawing away at the site. 21-year-old Stella Huey is happy to be part of such a big project. I don't know, it's just, I'm just befriending my son, so, yeah, trying to get stuff that he needs. To, you know, that's what I have this job for. Huey says she landed the job with past lived experience here in her community. Me and my parents um, raised a house, so we, so we fixed our own house to make it big because we have a big family. <laughs> According to the construction contractor, the majority of employees are men, and there are four women among them. He says a project that began 12 weeks ago is moving along quite well, and he's really pleased with their work. They've been doing great. Uh, I've had some other projects, housing projects, and I've always made sure that the, that, uh, we, that the women that, that applied were, were on because I really encouraged that. And the ones here in cash, they're, they're great. They're, they're working out well with everybody. We, we have them on the cruise with everybody else. The crews are trying to get 104 units built, so the long-term evacuees who've been in Kapiskasing for the past two years can finally come home. I like it because it is home, so being a part of I just it sometimes am it amazes me that there was nothing here when I came and started and now there's this like whole bunch of units all over the place. It means a lot to Huey too. I'm so happy half of my half of cash people are coming home. According to Sutherland the work here will continue until next summer, giving the local workforce more time to gain experience before moving on to another project. And at Francis A. Tian National News, Keshechuan First Nation.